Hi everyone, welcome back. It's Claudette. So I have a project share for you guys. I just wanted to go ahead and give you a little glimpse of what I've been working on. Um, so let's start off with these here. So I went ahead and created these little bows. So this is the larger one here. I don't use any die cuts for bows because I don't have any. Um, so I just paper cut everything. Um, fussy cut everything I mean so what I did as I created this one here this is the smallest one and I'm sorry for the glare but this is like a soft pink and they're all glittered and this is um I don't know this is this is pink this is like a softer pink and it's like a pearl color so this is they're all three uh, layers so this one here and then I just added a little bling from I think those are from Michaels and then I created this one here and this bling I believe is from Hobby Lobby and then the butterfly uh, bow there and then I just uh, added some trim here for the topper with some flowers put the word happy and then some little banners behind it so that's one of the things that I've been working on and then I also made these bows here so again, I just cut them and then I outlined them with the uh, gold pen. And these are from the LOL collection. And I lost my little cupcake there. Um, so I'll have to go back and glue it on my little um, real set there. Uh, it's a party and then another dimensional cupcake there. This trim I got from Hobby Lobby. And then I just used my, I think this is the Martha Stewart punch at the edge and then some washi here on top just to finish it off and yeah so this is another one and then this one here says beautiful this is a uh, inspired by Maggie Holmes <laughs> um, I have already created one like this before so i um, I told a friend that I was going to send her one, so I made the exact same thing and just kind of decorated it the same way. Uh, the butterfly, beautiful. Uh, this beautiful, uh, this word here, I actually printed out a whole bunch of different words and I just fussy cut them out. This trim back here is from Michaels. It's a pretty, it's pretty big. It's about two inches wide, so I just went ahead and cut it, trimmed it off. And then again, I used my Maggie Holmes, my um, Martha Stewart punch, and then just created these little banners. This one says, friend, shine, smile, love, and hello. So those are it right there. And then I went ahead and used this, um, made, sorry, this embellishment book. So this one, I used a paper pad from... Michaels from the Hot Buy collection and I can't remember the name of it right now but the little embellishments here are from uh, Jane Hatfield along with the little butterfly here and these I can't remember if they're uh, Paper Studio or uh, I can't remember the other collection um, but these flowers are from Hobby Lobby so what I did so this is the front of it and I made it into a shaker so you guys can see oops sorry about that so I made it into a shaker um, and I added the hello banner the little girl there with the little butterfly the flowers there and their little rosette with a little bow in the middle and a pearl I didn't put anything in the back of it because I think it just looks pretty like that so I left it simple at the edge here, I used uh, the word smile and then these two heart uh, dots there that I found at Joann's. And then I just added this uh, little bow here. And this one here is from Michaels as well. And then I just added a couple of little more charms to it. I added a little flower here, pearl, little scattered pearls here. And then this one here, which is just plain. And then just added a little bow. I thought it went great with it. So the, um, how I sealed it was, I was having a hard time because I didn't 
this was the last thing I actually made on it because I was trying to figure out how do I keep it closed and I tried ribbon and it just looked too cluttered and I tried it across and then it's just sideways and it just it was too much so I can never go wrong by looking at Tamika's channels so I went in there and looked and see what she had and looked at a couple of uh embellishment books that she also had created and I saw that she used these brads here and all she did was uh made uh, some little holes there and closed them up and put these little brads in there and I was like okay but my book is done so how do I so I had to kind of figure out how to where to actually place these so it wouldn't damage the trim or anything so I think it worked out great um and I love it I love the way it came out so let's start off with the front here and there is one two three four pages so it's eight uh, double-sided so I started off with this one here and then I just put a doily and then just uh, used that Jane Hatfield paper there with a rosette in the front. And then I just used a different ephemera that I used. So this is Maggie Holmes, but this is Jane Hatfield here. And then board laugh and then some little uh, sequence there. And then these are some that I had created. Let me just close up here. So little banners there. Uh, be kind, happy, and travel. And this got it has a little globe. This has a little wind, those little wind things, and uh, uh, little flowers there. I just added these little pearl things. These I got from I want to say Michaels. And then some little flowers. I mean, some uh, butterfly. So I made these here. These I got from Michaels as well. These little the ends of them, the little balls there. I also went ahead and created these here. These are some dyes that I have, the little flowers at the bottom. So I just went ahead and ash light, added some ash eyelash trim and then some dimensional little punches that I had. Some uh, little roses and then the little words there that you can find at Michael's and added some tiny little butterflies. This one says friend, that one says beauty, and I think that one says forever. Then I went ahead and added these little treat bags. So they're, they're all just placed in there with little glue dots. These are little treat bags. So this is the back of the treat bags. So I went ahead and cut these out um, on chipboard. So I just fussy cut them. This is paper pads that I got from Joann's. And I just cut the little trailer there, the bike and the house. And that's the way I just went ahead and this one says dream, happy, and dream big. I also went ahead and created these little envelopes. This one says special day, love this day, and hey sunshine. So I just used little ephemera from different things that I have, uh, nothing specific. These little pictures inside, the little cards inside are from Joann's. I think they're the Jane Hatfield paper pad. So I just created these. These actually, these little dots here, dimensional dots, these I found at one of my local 99 cent stores or dollar stores. Um, it's a very, I, I, I hardly ever go there because it's pretty far from where I, I live. But when we do go there, I try to go in there and see what they have. And I found these here and the the uh, Paris ones so I got those and then I created these vellum rosettes and then just added this uh, some um, gold string some teal one and this one has gold too and I created some little rosettes to go on top and then just added these are from Maggie Holmes and this is Jane Hatfield so created those I thought they came out really cute and I just punched the ends of them with um, my uh, Martha Stewart punches. And then this one I just used my scissors. Um, and it creates that design there. And then I created these bag toppers. Follow your heart. Oh, happy day. Feel better. Oops, sorry guys. 
Um, and like I said, I just use ephemera from different places. I think this is Hobby Lobby Flowers. This is uh, Maggie Holmes, and this one's Maggie Holmes as well. Just added some lace trim on the back of this one and some little gold dots. Um, this one I layered it with two different types of doilies to make it a little vintage. Some trim at the end with some washi and then again little pearl dots. And then this one I just, uh, I can't remember where this follow your heart is from. But it's already like that so I just kind of trimmed it a little more so it can fit on there. Added some tulle, another um, doily, gold one. And then these tags, happiness, happy, hello today. So just created these here. These are all stickers and things that I've uh, made into ephemera. So I just place them on top of a uh, 110 pound cardstock and then just cut them, fussy cut them out to make them a little sturdy. <clears throat> and I just stapled the little trims here on top made those and then the very last ones are the little typewriters this typewriter I got from Tuesday morning this one says smile thanks and hello and then I just added little bows on them with little flowers and some butterflies and I just put a uh, gold paper inside so it can look like the little um, buttons are gold and then this is the end of it. It says believe. I just fussy cut this out, this piece here, and attached it to there, and then added more little flowers. These are some punches that I have, and this is from the Jane Hatfield collection. And I just put some washi. As you can see, I put washi in all of them here at the bottom. This way, I just put some doilies, but they all have washi. And that is it. That is, I am so very proud of creating this. I see a lot of people creating um, embellishment books. And I was like, you know what, I'm going to give it a try. So this is my first embellishment book that I've ever created. And I was very proud of it. So I don't sew. So what I did, I just um, added some tool over my paper. And then I placed it on here and it just kind of glued all this very gently so you couldn't really see any of the glue and then it just added this trim here from Hobby Lobby as well so I'm very proud of how it came out I am really happy and I hope you guys like it too just another little recap there of what all these look like and it's very chunky So I am super proud of myself <laughs> for actually going through with it. Um, I, it took me probably about three weeks to finish it up because I didn't have any embellishments created at the moment to just pop in there. So I had to make the book and then because of my job I come home really late. So I go and I have dinner and then I go and sit down and just create, you know, embellishments. So it took me a while. I think three three or maybe three and a half weeks it took me to get it done but I got it done and I'm super proud of it so if you guys watch this to the end um, this embellishment book is gonna be a giveaway um, so all you have to do is uh, of course be 18 and older US only uh, like my video you have to be a subscriber um, and then at the bottom just uh, put um, on your comment just add hello enter me and then if you have any questions feel free to ask them and I'll go ahead and answer them uh, but this will be a giveaway um, so today is Sunday the 27th so I'll probably give it a week and I don't have a calendar with me right now give me one second all right, so today's the 27th, I apologize. Um, so we'll go ahead and announce the winner May 10th, which will fall on a Friday. Um, again, if you 
want to be entered just follow all those rules uh, just comment at the bottom hello enter me and um, just let me know what you think of this uh, embellishment book and if you are the lucky winner then I will be going ahead and sending it to you good luck to everyone thank you for stopping by and watching and I will talk to you guys pretty soon thank you bye bye